Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we continue with exploring of free energy and this time I present you Robert Kinison magnetic motor, this image over here. It looks really great, so let's see and get immediately the drawings and see what is his idea. Alright viewers, so this is the Robert Kinison permanent magnet motion conversion means. And now let's have a look inside his housing to see what this consists of. Okay, so now I will hide it, so now you can see. As you can see from the first uh, from the first side, we have totally three permanent magnets in the system. This one behind, which are fixed on the housing, and this one on the main shaft, which will produce uh, on the output shaft. Yeah. So let's now try to describe how this shaft can rotate with the help of the permanent magnets, which are static. Yeah. So let's see. For this uh, to be able to, for this to rotate, there is a special plate here in the middle where this yellow part should be magnetic shielding material and uh, and this uh, gray part should be in a non-magnetic material such as the stainless steel yeah? for example or zinc whatever you whatever we use and as you can see uh, um, this should move this plate should move up and down yeah? and exactly this gray part will be the part well uh, where we'll are uh, static static magnets give the uh, magnetic power to this magnets on the or they will repel sorry they will repel the, the magnetic the magnet on the rotor yeah? and in exactly this manner yeah? so as you can see on the on the top there is a mechanism this mechanism uh, on the top is actually a mechanism with a spring uh, you can see this is a spring mounted on the housing which will uh, move up uh, or uh, yeah, this this plate up yeah? and there is a limiter which is here uh, on the this yellow part yeah and of course these bearings support these two bearings support that it goes smoothly on this on this axis yeah with that don't slide out yeah? so basically this will move the this plate up yeah and the other mechanism will be the mechanism uh, powered by the, uh, the electromagnet uh, from the bottom side this this and this if I select this now you can see this is the mechanism um, which will be powered by the current so basically this bottom coil will be energized in the point when these brushes this is the brush mechanism so let me explain this when these brushes come to this red part they will give the power to the coil yeah, and then they will attract the steel, uh, this steel rod, which I will select uh, oh, here. So they will um, attract the steel rod to the bottom, yeah, and then move also this plate with it together. Yeah. So basically, if I now select everything, yeah, now you can see that this 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 is the setup with uh, with electric current. We will take this plate down so that this permanent magnet on the rotor can again come to the position where it will repel itself from the stationary permanent magnet on the house yeah, in this exactly position yeah. and this motion should be then uh, in the yeah in the continuous way in one direction the clockwise direction and that's basically it yeah. so, so the whole fun, I can hide even this uh, uh, plate just one second so you can see, yeah. So we have the stationary magnets, which are a little bit offset one from the other. So uh, looking horizontally and uh, vertically. Yeah. So you can see one is the more up and one is the more down, and they are separated uh, also the horizontally. And uh, this will be the limiters, yeah. So uh, where this movement uh, must end, yeah, up and down. And that's basically it. And then the circular motion will be controlled with the help of the prim uh, electromagnet on the top and the spring on the bottom, the electromagnet on the bottom and the spring on the top. Yeah? And this should, and this should work as a uh, with only, yeah. It's not a permanent magnet motor. It just runs with the, with the permanent magnets. But we need a little bit help of the electromagnet to pull this down. Yeah? And then momentum should create a power and high with this circular motion and that's basically it okay viewers so that was the robert kinison magnetic motor or permanent magnets motor conversion 
means, how is exactly stated in the patent. Can it work? <laughs> I doubt that, yeah? but it does have sense, because there are many similar designs you can explore in my videos, and you will see that uh, this way, like with the help of the electromagnet, we are really, yeah, we should easily get this uh, permanent motion, permanent circular motion. Yeah? And that's basically it. So thank you for watching, until next video, stay tuned on my channel. Bye-bye.